Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Sorry my schedule for this week is a bit up and down. Um, well, there's a lot of things going on in football at this minute in time. I'm trying to get it all covered for you guys. Anyway, today is my um, Premier League prediction table revealed. How close did I actually get to the fishing? Premier League table of this season just gone um, and now it's all going to start with the bottom two which I ain't gone that great to plan if I'm honest but anyway let's go guys subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so my bottom two I put down there um, one did go down and one and two of them stayed up now as you can see my bottom two is Huddersfield and Swansea um, great great play from Huddersfield to do what, what I needed to do to start up and keep all three promotion teams up as well um, which I was quite pleased to play my part in my local team who if you don't know is uh, Brighton um, you know I think, I think what we proved especially Brighton and Huddersfield is that you can have a small budget and survive in this league um, but anyway hats off to you Huddersfield um, and obviously my 19th the team that did go down unfortunately it was Swansea um, now I don't know what it was with Swansea I didn't look quite right at the start um, I'm gonna say that purely because well, you've got, I think if I remember rightly, they're going through a manager's um, trans period, uh, trying to find the right man for their job, and unfortunately, I left it a bit too. Well, I didn't leave it too late. Carvial did try his best, but failed to keep him up. So, but anyway, I predicted they would finish. Huddersfield, I predicted would finish in twentieth, as you can tell and Swansea are going to finish in 19th as you can tell obviously on your screen um, you can actually see they anyway now on 18th I predicted Crystal Palace will finish down there um, now it's nothing to do with the rivalry uh, I watched you the previous seasons but going, going the first seven games without scoring you did prove you did actually prove for a lot of fans well that saying even though you don't score in your first seven games you can survive in the league um, it's gonna hurt but fair play to you um, and yet as you can now see I had Brighton in 17th which is they finished in 15th which has a Brighton boy as I am and a Brighton fan as I am, I'm truly chuffed to actually say we survived our first Premier League season. Um, everyone was writing us off on like uh, pundits and everything like that, but that we nearly went out of the Football League 20 odd years ago. We fight to get back into this into this league. We ain't gonna roll over. But anyway you know we're serious now so interesting it's going to be next season it's going to be quite interesting for uh, this uh, for next season so I'm looking forward to that in 16th was I put Newcastle who did actually finish in 10th fair enough to them um, now Newcastle sort of had that yeah again they there's more pressure on Newcastle because they are Premier League quality. I don't think they deserve to go down. I think their club's too big to go down into the Championship. I mean, I went up there um, when when they were in the Championship with us. Their ground is so big. I think it must have been the biggest ground in the Championship. Um, but as I said, they don't deserve to be down there. But hey ho, they did, they came back up and they got into 10th. Now, 
in 15th up at Watford who actually finished in 14th uh, yet yeah, again I went up there um, this season as the away team obviously and I do like their ground it's a nice closed in stadium I'm not going to rub it in but that's a bit like QPR it's really closed in um, really you know the fans really on top of the players which is how I like my football grounds if I'm all, on, all honest that dirty foul on not car um, obviously if you go back and watch my vlog you can actually see a picture of that foul um, but Ayo fair play to Watford for what they did which was finishing 14th now Burnley where do I start with Burnley uh, yet again proved a small budget team can qualify for Europe um, I think I think it's like their 5th consecutive season in the Premier League um, I think I think they're going to be quite dangerous in Europe as well uh, I'm not going to cut them short even though they did only win by the scrappy one one or two nail goals or something across that line I think they're going to be quite dangerous in Europe so I'll be interested to see how Burnley do in their first competitive uh, season in Europe um, right next up is Bournemouth who finished in 12th um, now Bournemouth yet yeah, again got a small ground um, not recently big team if I may say so uh, I, I went up there for the away, lake, uh, for the away game the, uh, last season as well I'm quite surprised how small to because if I've been a Premier League to be honest um, but uh, fair play to Bournemouth who finished in 12th now here comes our second relegation team it is indeed Stoke um, was I surprised to see him go down not really after they sacked Mark Hughes I think you left it far too late to do anything like that um, and then bring Paul Lambert in um, I think I think Paul Lam Lambert need a bit more time to try and keep him up but I think I've got the power to come back up just hope you prove me right or if not I know how hard it is down there I'm not going to underestimate the championship but anyway, unlucky Stoke. Uh, Southampton, who finished in seventeenth. Um, yet again, I believe they dropped below par this season. Uh, I, I think they drew down here, and I think they might have drew up there as well. Um, yeah, again, dropped below par. Um, But anyway, Southampton did finish the Premier League in 17th. Now in 10th, it, it was Everton. Now under this thing, uh, I started off with uh, under uh, Roman, Roman Koeman. Um, then they bring Sam Allardyce in to try and keep him up. Um, now there's a rumour that he could be leaving uh, whether that happens or not remains to be seen but um, if, I, if I was all honest I think I'd rather see Big Stam stay there uh, at least do a whole season at Everton first in ninth it was so now it's ninth to top um, in ninth, it was Leicester. I've got a one spot on. Um, now Leicester had an okay sort of season, uh, but 
I'm, I'm always asking more of them now, uh, considering they got to keep Mares, uh, they got Jamie Vardy, they got uh, the Mario Gray. You know, I'm always want to ask a bit more of Leicester now because of what team they sort of come are uh, coming into, um, and that's Premier League champions. Let's not forget. Uh, in eighth place, I put West Ham. Um, now I want to get West Ham fans' opinion on this. There's a rumour that they could uh, be departing with David Moyes. Uh, I don't know what your board are asking for. David Moyes did manage to get Everton into the Europa League, but. Would you want to see him go, or would you want like to see him have a full season as well? Considering he replaced Bidditch, uh about I think it's December time he came in. Uh, put your comments below. In seventh place, it was well. In seventh place, they got relegated as well. It was West Brom. Now, hardly enough, I went. Uh, up there as well for the Brighton game. Um, did you did you leave Pardew in charge for too long? Um, for your assistant manager to come in, your assistant manager did do a good job, and he nearly kept you up as well. Um, if it's up to me, I'll give him the full time job and just see how he does. Um, but. Uh, obviously, yeah, again, it's not my call, but I would like to see him in a full time role to see how he does. Um, in sixth place, I've got this one spot on as well. It was Arsenal. Now, only picking three points up in 2018, as far as I know. Um, Brighton got the Brighton beat him down here. Um, But I think you're in for a worse season um, under your new manager, whoever it may be. Uh, Tommy comes in, stabilises the club, and all that. And as you can see, it can take time. But anyway, let's see how that goes. In fifth place, I went for the champions. Um, obviously, I weren't expecting Pep Guardiola did what he did. And that was to win the title with so many points as well. Um, do I think they could win it again? You have to wait and see. But what what Man City done? Finished a hu with a hundred points. How many goals they scored? They were phenomenal this season. Um, I would have got these two right if the results went the way I needed them to to um, get the right outcome off this table but in fourth it was Spurs uh, who finished in third um, now Spurs played at Wembley all season looking into their new home next season um, But that's going to be an interesting one as well, especially for a new home. Um, in third place, it was Liverpool. Um, now Liverpool, I had Liverpool in third place. Um, now this going to be, that is quite interesting. I think they got the power to go to the Premier League title next season. It's all going to go on. What do I do in the transfer window? Um, and can they keep our scoring performance up? Um, in second place, I went with Man United. Uh, yet again, it did. Uh, I've got a one spot on. Uh, we did beat Man United down here. Um, I, I think I think they need to. I can't believe I spent ninety million pound on Pogba. Um, can't quite get my head around that. Uh, but let's see what let's see what uh, next season I'll be asking a lot more of them, especially try to keep up with City. 
Um, I think it's like 19 points at the end of the season. Far too big a gap. And in first place, who, like Chelsea fans, you're not actually out of year, and I'll explain that in a minute. But anyway, first place I look at Chelsea, who finished in fifth. So I got that one dreadfully wrong. Right, Chelsea, you're in Championship League spot. Because you're in the FA Cup final, the FA Cup does get you a place if you win it. Um, in a spot in the Championship League qualifiers. But because Man United are in second, and already are in the Championship League uh, competition, no matter which way the, cha the FA Cup final goes, you will be in the qualifiers for the Championship League. So that's going to be a quite interesting one as well, see how I battle with Europe. Um, but anyway guys, this is the end of my um, Premier League predictions for 2017-18 season reveal. Guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and ciao for now.